Well, hello everyone. Uh, I think we should make a start to this, our 2022 annual general meeting. A welcome from me, my name's Philip Morgan. I have the honour of being president of IACL and depending on where you are in the world, uh, I'd like to wish you a good morning, good afternoon, or indeed good evening. We've uh, This is our, uh, of course, our annual formal report to our membership of uh, of what we've been doing, um, some metrics that we have, and uh, a report on some of the activities that are ongoing and indeed uh, planned. So let's have a look at uh, uh, what we'll be doing. I want to uh, firstly acknowledge the uh, support we get from from our sponsors. Of it goes without saying, I think that uh, without the uh, financial support and intellectual support. That we receive from our sponsors uh, we couldn't do what we do so it is appropriate to acknowledge um, this list of companies right at the front uh, so of course we're very proud to be um, associated with our platinum sponsor Alcon, our gold sponsor Cooper Vision, silver sponsor Johnson & Johnson Vision, our two bronze sponsors Bausch & Lomb and Oftex and our donor sponsor Euclid so thanks to them all. So here's our uh, agenda for today. Um, we're sort of uh, halfway through the first one. Introductions and welcome. I'll report some apologies. We need to approve the minutes from our meeting at about this time last year. Uh, we'll have a financial update and also updates on IACL top and our global and regional activities. And we'll close with uh, any other business that uh, anybody would like to raise or ask questions about. Um, so, uh, just to note for the records, uh, our, our apologies from uh, Florencia Ye, Hans Gleshoy, Yanis Trinudis, Mohamed Ali Hamade, Vim Borst, Antonio Lopez uh, Alamani, and Mark Chatham. Uh, just uh, one or two matters of housekeeping as well as, as we start. Uh, I'd like to ask everybody just to put your microphones on mute, the usual zoom uh practice now of course put your microphones on mute unless you're speaking also it'd be very helpful for us if you could make sure that your correct full name is shown in your zoom window uh, at first glance i think everybody has done that but uh, uh if you if you don't have your full name on um it's a bit difficult for us to track accurately who is in attendance so uh please do that and um, when we come to any matters of voting today, uh, please remember that it's only full educator members who are um, who are allowed to vote. So uh, if you're not a full educator member, but perhaps an associate member, um, then, uh, then you're not, not able to vote. So please don't participate at those moments during the meeting. OK, well, uh, I wanted to start uh, by... Uh, just noting our um, leadership, uh, staff, and other colleagues who are involved with IACL. I uh, had the honour of becoming president at around this time last year, around 2021 AGM. And at about that time, also, we uh, elected uh, a full new board. We have six IACL directors uh, shown here, uh, most of whom, perhaps all of whom at this point, are on the call uh, today. So uh, uh, the photographs that you can see. So Shazad Nauru is our Vice President, Etty Bitton is our uh, Treasurer Secretary, Renee Reader, Vicky Hunchens and Fakhruddin Baradawala make up the rest of the Board of Directors and uh, uh, we meet regularly to uh, direct and come up with strategy for the association. In addition to uh, those six people we have uh, three regional directors. This actually was a slight change in our structure around this time last year, and we were very pleased to um, uh, welcome uh, Kaui Tan, uh, Martin Geraldo, and Fabrizio Zeri, who are our regional directors for Asia Pacific, Americas, and uh, Europe, Africa, and Middle East, respectively. So, the three IACL regions. So, uh, these colleagues also help uh, advise the leadership on strategy for their respective regions, and we're very grateful for their input. Uh, the, in terms of uh, other leadership positions, we have uh, four executive managers looking after different areas of IACL business and operations, 
uh, all working with our chief executive officer, Bonnie Boschard. So I think all of these colleagues are on the call today. So uh, executive manager for global education is uh, Lakshmi Shinde for educa educational programs is Nilesh Thaiti. Uh, Executive Manager for Education Development, Professor Craig Woods, and for Global Operations, uh, Siobhan Allen. So these are our most senior staff. Uh, they and the rest of the association supported by our regional and country uh, coordinators. So uh, Guillermo Carrillo in uh, the Americas, in Asia Pacific, our coordinator is Chenny Lee. We have two national coordinators in China, uh, Qiu Xiaomei and Wang Haiying and our Korea national coordinator is uh, Kyung Hee Park. So we're grateful for all of their, uh, their work and support that they give to the association. And, uh, uh, just to round off the list of, uh, of IAL, IACL staffing, we have uh, four further administrators uh, participating in different roles and in different parts of the world. So just to acknowledge Kavitha Jayana, uh, Zhu Hai Peng, Wang Qi Ying, uh, Nick Bayan and Carmen Carrillo as our administrators and uh, uh, in, in charge of our communications and newsletters and, and other activity uh, and that part of our work our communication specialist is Amelia Moore so thanks to all of these colleagues for the work that they do. Okay uh, an important formality then that we need to go through is to um, uh, approve the minutes uh, from the last meeting. I'm not proposing uh, to uh, go through all of these in detail. I think these have been circulated already, but we did meet for the AGM last year on the 13th of May 2021. I think we had uh, 37 people on at the meeting at that time. The details of the minutes are shown there, but as I say, hopefully everybody's had a chance to look at these. Um, Perhaps before we move to approve these, has anybody got any questions or any comments on the minutes that we uh, that are presented here and that have been circulated from last time? I'll just pause briefly in case there's any questions. Okay, if not, and we're happy to uh, approve these, I do need a proposer to propose that we accept these as an accurate order of uh, accurate recording of events from last time. I propose it's Etty. Etty is proposed. I think Judith also had a hand. I will, yeah, I'll second it. Yep, fine. Thank you. I'll second there. So I'll, I'll um, unless there's any other noises on this Zoom call, I'll uh, assume that otherwise by acclamation, uh, we, we take these as an accurate record of events. Thank you for that. Okay. The next item on our agenda is the financial update, and I'm pleased to pass to Dr. Etty Beaton to uh, report on this part uh, of the meeting. Etty, over to you. Thank you, Phil. Um, so we are, if you can move this slide forward, then there you go. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the financial updates and what the IACL position is as of December 31st, 2021. These are presented in US dollars. Um, so the revenue from uh, ordinary activities such as grants, project income, membership fees, and interest earned has increased from 2020 to 2021 are shown here. Uh, we had some other income, other expenses, uh, some exchange losses in 2021. Uh, project and operating expenses were about the same for the two years. Uh, however, we do have a net, a, a better a net profit in 2021. Uh, this was mainly due to an additional sponsor that which we could see on the next slide um, and an increase in sponsorship by two other sponsors. So a nice increase of $80,000 in 2021. Um, we also did an increase in program fees uh, due to the fellowship exam. Of course, expenditures remain stable from 2020 because there was uh, very little actual activities in person. A lot of things were virtually done. Expenses are spread across all regions and salaries and consulting fees such as resource and program development, implementation, delivery, global operations, communications, graphic design, legal and accounting. So these seem to continue to be uh, used across all regions the same way. 
Um, even though there were no in-person meetings, there were a lot of online meetings, which we will see some details later. So a lot of the resources going into developing those programs and um, communication about, uh, about them. Online resources such as telecommunications, online learning management system, survey software, membership database, and IT support. These are the expenses across regions as well. Meeting expenses and travel. There were a few at the beginning of 2020, of course, just before the pandemic um, hit uh, as well. And I think that that, I'm going to the next slide. That is the financial statements. I would like somebody to uh, accept them as accurate and then a motion that the chartered uh, RLB chartered professional accounts be appointed as auditor uh, for 2022 financial year. Okay, so I think we can move to that. Just uh, perhaps before we do so, has anybody got any questions or comments on, on, on the, the financial report that Etty has, has just delivered? You can just perhaps put your hand up in the um, the function on Zoom, the uh, um, the hand raising function, or just turn your microphone on and speak if you'd like to raise any questions about those. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody coming forward, so let's take these two motions in order then. Um, again, I need a proposer and a second, please. The first motion being that the financial statements be accepted as accurate. If uh, there's a proposal for that, please. Helmer. Helmer, thank you. Uh, so I, I, I don't, I'm not able to see everybody, so but thank you for speaking up. The Helmer is proposing these. Do we have a seconder, please? Fakhruddin. Fakhruddin, thank you, Fakhruddin. So we've got a proposer and seconder. Um, so um, are we happy to take these as, uh, as, as accurate? Again, I'm not hearing anything to the contrary. So again, by acclamation of uh, NEMCOM, I think as we tend to say in the UK, then we'll take those as approved. And the second motion related to finances then that uh, RLB chartered professional accounts and uh, once again be appointed as auditor for the forthcoming financial year, the 2022 financial year. So again, I'm looking for a proposal for that, please. Uh, Judith, Judith's got a hand up, so I'll we'll take Judith. Thank you as the proposer, and uh, again a second. Lakshmi to second those. So uh, thank you for that. Okay, let's uh, let's move on. Uh, the next item on our agenda is uh, on IACL top. A uh, short update here, and I'm pleased to. Welcome my friend and colleague, Professor Craig Woods, to report on this. Craig. Thanks, Phil. If we could have the next slide, please. Um, IACL Top was initially as part of a strategy by IACL to support its members during the pandemic to, to allow us to deliver online teaching. Uh, it's been developed using the Canvas platform uh, and over the last year, we've continued to add new content. Uh, it's actually added on a regular basis. There's always new content being added uh, weekly and monthly. Whenever a webinar is presented, the recording appears on this platform, as well as any conferences that IACL uh, organizes. There is the research update uh, that gets sent to you, is also uh, stored in the archive here as is the IACL library. Um, existing areas that have been reviewed and updated include case reports, the distance learning program, the student area has been renovated, and there is certainly more to come this year as well. Thank you. If we can have the next slide. Um, so what has been new this year has been um, a revision of the scleral lens component of the distance learning program. So if you've done the distance learning, learning program in the past, um, the scleral lens you'll find will be new. We added two new case series, which contained four case reports to the case reports area. Um, the IACL library you can now access through the members area. Um, and again, content and photos are always being added to that every month. 
we have continued to improve the support we provide our members for the students learning. Um, so the uh, ICLC continues to be updated and the most recent component of that that was updated was the lens care system with some new information. The student era provides additional resources such as flipped classrooms for you to deliver the case reports to your students. And we've also uh, changed the way that it delivers the student trial exams. And what's new about that is that we can now offer a standard student trial exam and a basic entry exam for you to use with your students. So there are two different levels of, of knowledge requirements for those two. The assessments are drawn from a pool of 200 questions um, and the drawing of those is randomized. So each student gets an individualized exam. Um, results and feedback can be delivered instantly through this process, through this, this environment. And uh, the student trial exam, uh, we've added French to the already current languages of Bahasa, Chinese, English, Korean and Spanish. If we can have the next slide, thanks. Um, I'm happy to take any questions if anybody does in relation to IACL Top. Thanks, Greg. Yes, we've seen tremendous developments in IACL Top. It's a great platform, been a great platform the last couple of years, and I think we'll very much form uh, a platform in another sense for, for the future. So does any, anybody have any questions for Craig and our IACL Top activity? Okay, looks like not, Thank Craig. You Thanks Thank for, you very uh, much. Thanks for your report. And next, um, it's been another active year, and I'm pleased that Lakshmi's joined us uh, today to update us on uh, what's been happening. Lakshmi, uh, over to you, please. Thanks, Bill. Uh, next slide, please. So this is just an update on all the programs, resources, and events that IACL offers. Um, I think most of you would be familiar with the many things that's listed here. And of course, Craig did mention uh, the new resources we've put together, such as flashcards, uh, which is quite helpful. At present, we have uh, three of them in the flashcards, which is uh, contact lens application, removal, and care and maintenance. We would be coming out with a additional flashcard very soon on uh, contact lens, soft contact lens storics. Uh, regarding the uh, programs, as uh, Craig mentioned, we have an extra student trial exam, which is at the basic level. Uh, this was a request uh, from some of the countries that we had, and uh, we went ahead and uh, implemented that. So I think that is um, quite helpful for certain countries where uh, they feel that the contact lens education level may not be as in, in, in par with the other countries that uh, we are uh, dealing with the 100 um, SD questions. So that's a new um, addition to the programs as well. In terms of uh, events, uh, we didn't have many face-to-face -face, uh, meetings uh, because of the uh, lockdowns and the um, uh, COVID-19 protocols. So the events were more of uh, webinars, and I think that was a big support to all our members uh, worldwide. The attendance also has been good to these uh, webinars, and we had them in various languages as well. Next slide, please. Just to give an um, update of various activities and some of the highlights is the student area which is part of the IACL talk for this year would be free of cost. Um, and this has a lot of advantages where you can actually um, run the student trial exam and then share the um, curriculum, the ICSC curriculum with the students, uh, share the case reports with them. And uh, so also the other resources. And um, you can also um, plug in uh, independent assignments uh, for your students in this area. So that is uh, available free of cost. Uh, this year. Um, we, as I said, there's also an entry-level STE. The new case report series, uh, we had a few case reports that was um, uh, donated by Dadi Fadel, one of our members, towards uh, scale lenses, and that's been added as well. And as I mentioned, flashcards. Um, the highlight, I think, is the webinars. 
that we conducted as IACL. We had 218 webinars with um, almost around close to 20,000 attendees for all these webinars, not only just educators, but some of them practitioners and students as well, because they were some of them were live streamed on uh, Facebook. So I think that's the biggest highlight and also was a great support to all the educators during this pandemic. Next slide, please. Just an update on the uh, number of members and how far and wide we are spread. Uh, we currently have 754 active members in 81 countries. Uh, of course, uh, the Asia Pacific region is the largest chunk of it with 449, uh, followed by Europe, Africa, Middle East with 168, and Americas with 137. Next slide, please. Uh, we also have IACL awards, and I would um, that we uh, give to educators every year, and I would encourage those of you attending this uh, AGM to please uh, put in your applications in the future because we like more and more applicants uh, to apply for such awards. And uh, this Educator of the Year Award is uh, sponsored by Cooper Vision and uh, we have it in the three main regions that is uh, the America, uh, Americas, Asia Pacific and for Europe, Africa, Middle East. Um, this year, the person uh, from Americas is Dr. Lindsay Six. I think she's uh, attending this AGM as well. Um, from Asia Pacific, it is uh, Lavanya. And uh, for uh, Europe, Africa, Middle East, it is uh, Professor Carol from University of Manchester. So um, I would really encourage uh, people who are attending this AGM to kind of consider applying for these uh, awards because uh, they're quite prestigious and we do uh, sponsor the um, winner to actually attend uh, any global conference um, after they have uh, you know, been awarded this uh, award. Next slide, please. The other award uh, that is that IACL um, offers is the IACL Travel Award. Uh, it's uh, open to any IACL member from any of the regions. And uh, basically the winner needs to demonstrate, I mean, um, the applicant needs to demonstrate that uh, they have been an IACL member and also have been using the IACL resources and uh, programs and attending IACL member events um, and the member gets the uh, winner gets uh, funded to attend one of the conferences, global conferences. Um, either usually it's either the BCLA or the American Academy. Next slide, please. As I said, I think the highlight of this year has been the IACL webinars, where we've had webinars in languages, uh, you know, even in the um, Europe, Africa, Middle East region, such as Arabic, French, uh, German, uh, Spanish, and so on. So we did kind of cover many of the regions that had um, requests to host these webinars. So we were facilitating these webinars for them. And I think that was very useful during the pandemic. Next slide, please. The virtual conference was something that we came up with again during the pandemic. Uh, the fourth one was held recently in May. These are usually uh, a three hour session that we have um, and every six months. So we've had uh, the fourth one in May and another one we are planning to have sometime in September, October this year. And these um, uh, conferences kind of cover very um, varied topics. And this time we had uh, make students practice ready, which is very, very interesting. Um, and a lot of uh, uh, emphasis went on how to conduct practical sessions for students, problem-based learning and incorporating case reports into teaching and so on. So uh, an array of topics and it was very well attended as well. Next slide. Coming to specific regions, uh, the Asia Pacific region, um, as I said, this forms the a huge ch chunk of the entire IACL membership. Uh, we've had 16 webinars conducted in various languages because uh, in Asia we have uh, Chinese, Korean, and other languages. So in varied languages, we had different webinars that were conducted. And one of the highlights uh, of this Asia Pacific region is also that we conduct what's called as a journal club 
So an article is chosen and given to one of the members to present and uh, the member uh, goes through the article and also critically reviews it. Um, so that's been one of the highlights uh, and uh, it's been well attended by many of the members as well. Next slide, please. <clears throat> Among uh, the student trial exams, uh, we've had most of them from Asia Pacific region. There have been 10 and the number of students that, that were covered by these exams were 352. Uh, slowly with the uh, things opening up, the coordinators are also visiting some of the institutes, uh, which has been long overdue because of the pandemic. So we have been visiting some of the new schools and explaining to them about the LMS system in terms of IACL top. Next slide, please. Coming to Americas, um, the upcoming meetings here is the, the educational meeting at Fedocto in August, which would be coming up. And following that would be the ADLO meeting, which is train the trainer that we're looking at. And uh, America is also, uh, I mean, looking at Asia Pacific doing the journal club and being su successful. They also copy the same model uh, for the journal clubs and that's been well attended uh, as well. Next slide. One of the highlights of the, this region is the IACL radio. I think Willie has done a fantastic job with regards to this. And every week they have a program on a radio, specific radio channel, where they invite one of the members to discuss an interesting topic related to contact lenses. And this has been really well attended by members. And also it's something very unique uh, for that region. Next slide, please. Regarding Europe, Africa, Middle East, um, here what we did was uh, recently Fabrizio came up with an idea that uh, why not have uh, um, you know, leaders from different countries uh, forming a kind of a closed group where we discuss IACL and how to move forward in the different regions. Um, he's been, Fabrizio has been very active in putting this group together. Uh, I think some of them are already attending this meeting, Raquel, uh, May, uh, and a few Elizabeth Shetty, a few others. And this group meets once a quarter and then we discuss how do we uh, take IACL forward to more members, more institutions and so on. Uh, Raquel also attended a meeting in Spain uh, where she facilitated a members meeting in Spain and uh, Phil did address one of the uh, meetings in Germany virtually and gave them an IACL update. Next slide, please. The upcoming activities as far as this region is concerned is um, the IACL update uh, is at the Summit of uh, Speciality Contacts in Italy in October is being planned and one more event in October. And of course the STEs in the various regions are uh, being planned. And the, as, I, as I mentioned, the uh, Europe, Europe, Africa, Middle East leadership team uh, meets every quarter. And I would like to thank all of them who are part of that, uh, you know, leadership team because they've been very, very supportive and uh, help us in expanding IACL membership in that region. Uh, Elizabeth, May, Raquel, and many others who are part of that team. Thank you. Over to you, Phil. Cool. Actually, thank you very much for um, that comprehensive review of our activities. Um, would anybody like to ask any questions um, of Lakshmi and uh, our activities? I don't think so, thank you. Um, well, we've got one or, two, uh, one or two thoughts to close on, but before I get to that, um, do we have any business that anybody would like to bring to the AGM? Any, any other business items for a discussion today, please? Uh, no. Okay. Um, in that case, I will uh, bring us to a close. Uh, I would like to um, encourage everybody to keep uh, keep in touch with us using one of our uh, many social media platforms. You'll basically find us on any platform or indeed through our own website at iacl.org. Uh, 
Um, once again, uh, to acknowledge the sponsors uh, and our relationship with them, not just the financial funding, of course, that they support, but their, their ideas and wisdom and, and strategy and uh, everything else that they, they deliver with us in partnership. So thanks again to Alcom, Cupervision, Johnson Johnson Vision, Bausch & Lomb, Offtakes and Euclid. Uh, Everybody, I think that brings us uh, to a, a, a close today. I want to thank everybody. It's been very early in the morning, uh, in particular for, for, for Bonnie, where it is very early, very late in the evening for our colleagues in, in Australia, Craig and Siobhan, and uh, I guess the rest of us, I think, looking at the list of sort of somewhere between the two. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for your interest in IACL. Thanks for working with us. I think we have a, um, a, some busy times and exciting times ahead, so watch out. Uh, for that, and with that, I will bring us to a close. Thanks for your time today.